Let's look at a second example. Now draw a flow chart again, and we want to input two numbers. So this is very similar to what we did in the previous example. In this example, I want to find the sum, the difference, the product, and the quotient. So this process is made up of four parts, sum, difference, product, quotient, and then output all of these four values. So to complete this flow chart, you are going to start. So that's the start of the flow chart. We need to input our two numbers. So we know that that's a parallelogram and we're going to say input num1 and we're going to say input num2. I've done the input of the two numbers. Now the process, find. Here I should have had an arrow because it's leading into that box. Now my process, I could have two rectangular shapes. I'm just going to make this a little bigger because I'm going to try to fit all four steps into the one since it is a process, but you could have split it up into multiple, uh, multiple rectangular shapes. So the sum is equal to num1 plus num2. I'm working with those values of num1 and num2. And then the difference is where we subtract. So it's just simply num1 minus num2. And then product, prod, is equal to num1. Now the product is times, but let's make a deliberate mistake. And if we, we instead of saying times, we said plus num1 plus num2. The reason I'm making this mistake, it's when I draw my IPO table, I should be able to detect that I made a mistake. And then quotient is equal to num1 divided by num2. So that is my process. Find the sum, difference, product, and quotient, and then we need to output each of these values. So Again, our output is a parallelogram. So we're going to say print. And you're going to have your messages. I'm just going to say sum is. And let's print the sum. That's the placeholder. Print. Difference. Is. And the placeholder is diff. For the user, ensure that you don't abbreviate. If you say diff is, the user may not understand what diff means. Uh, the user needs to see the message difference is. But because we are the programmer, we are in charge of these variable names. So we understand that we have abbreviated this name to diff. And then when I use it, I use the name of the placeholder. So print product is, that's for the user, and the placeholder is prod, and finally print quotient is, and the placeholder is called QUOT. And I'm running out of space, so I will just move in this direction and I will then bring in my stop, which ends um, the flowchart. I could say stop, or for that matter, even if I did say end, I guess that's not uh, a major problem. So I've completed the flowchart. Let's now do the IPO table to test to see if this flowchart is correct or not. So it's good to test with multiple sets of values. So this is my input. This is my process. 
and this is my output. And I'm just going to label this one, two, and three. So when I speak to each box, you know which box I'm referring to. So at number one, we are inputting num1 and num2. And let's just take some values num1 equals, um, let's go 10 and num2, let's say is two. So that's my input that was done at box one. We now go to box two, which is our process rectangular shape. Sum equals num1 plus num2. So the sum is 10 plus two, which is 12. The difference is 10 minus two, and that's eight. Difference is 10 minus two, and that's eight. The prod, which is the product, is num1 plus num2. So that's 10 plus two equals 12. And at this stage, you should be realizing, okay, that was meant to be a product, so there's something wrong. But once you write the output, then you'll see it a lot uh, clearer that there was a mistake, yeah. So quotient will be num1, which is 10 divided by two, and 10 divided by two will give you five. We're done with box two. We move on to box three and we're going to print sum is and the placeholder sum, which is 12. And if I've got 10 and two, I expect to get 12. Then difference is, difference is eight. 10 and two, the difference is eight. Product is according to the flowchart, the product is 12 because we did a calculation that added the two numbers. So it's going to say product is, and the placeholder has the value 12. So we go by whatever is in the program. We cannot use any instinct and say, no, that should be 20 because 10 times two is 20 because the program did not have that. There was an error in the program. So the, according to the flowchart, the way it was designed, it added the two numbers. And when I get an output of product is 12, immediately I realize no, that product should have been 20. So I go to that particular step and I can see I added the two numbers. So that was a mistake. I really should have multiplied the two numbers. And I then go back and I make my necessary changes. If I multiply the two numbers, then 10 times two becomes 20 and my output is 20. And this is exactly what the algorithm and the flowchart is expected to get you to do. You put down the steps and through doing, conducting the input process IPO uh, table, you're testing it, you're testing the validity and you can pick up mistakes in doing this. Just to complete this, the final printout is going to say quotient. Quotient is, and it goes to the placeholder quote, and it's going to print five. And if I've got 10 and two, I expect a quotient of five. If I've got 10 and two, that's 12. 10 and two subtract, that's a 10 and two multiply, that's 20. So now I'm happy that I've done the IPO. I had an error in my IPO. I was able to correct, find the mistake. And the IPO table helped me to find that mistake. Again, you should test it with a second set of values just to make sure that it is working properly.